Joining me right now is the Club for Growth president, David McIntosh. David, it's great to have you this morning. Welcome. Good morning. It's how great would you to be assess, with you. Yes. How would you assess the economic backdrop right now? One thing that I've been saying and talking about with lots of guests recently is the fact that I do not see a growth plan here from this administration. Can you identify what the growth strategy is? Well, I, I actually think the problem with the Biden administration is they have plans to grow the, the government, but actually that will hurt the economy, continue with inflation pressure. Yeah. And they ignore the fact that that 40 percent of Americans say they're worse off today than they were when Joe Biden was elected. That's a huge number and shows deep dissatisfaction with his economic plan. I don't see any growth in his plans. I see bigger government. I see higher taxes they keep proposing, which will hurt growth. And in fact, the economy is growing almost in spite of the Biden administration. Yeah, that's right. And of course, partly it's all of this spending. We've seen $5 trillion plus uh, borrowed just in the last two years. And a new poll finds that four in 10 Americans say that their financial situation has gotten worse under this president. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and the president expected to discuss the debt ceiling again this week. And I spoke with the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee yesterday, Jason Smith, on Sunday Morning Futures about this debate over defense spending and where to identify spending cuts. Here's Jason Smith. Watch. So what Speaker McCarthy's asking is to just go back to fiscal year 22 numbers. We can cut $100 billion of unobligated COVID money. There is so much waste out there, Maria. We don't have to look at defense. But you know what? We do need to look at everything, though, because there could be some waste in defense. We need to make sure that the funding in defense is actually going towards our military and our soldiers. So, David, how do you see this? Where would be the areas to cut back on spending in an environment where we see China rising its provocations, um, investing in its own military? Should military spending be off the table in terms of spending? And where would you cut? One of the th Jason's correct. There's a lot of things under military spending that really don't help the military. They're like welfare programs that they tucked into the defense because the Democrats knew Republicans would vote for them then. So he's going to take a microscope, look at it, get rid of things that don't really help us fight China. And then there's a lot of waste in terms of the old COVID spending that should be eliminated. We don't have a pandemic. And start with a lot of the padding of excess federal government. You, you were the head of the Club for Growth. David, let me get your take on specifically what this administration should do to trigger more growth in this economy. There is a real debate right now that we are going to see a recession, even though many people have walked back the worst fears. Uh, but still, we're seeing a weakening situation when you look at GDP. How do you get sparking growth? I think there are three things that they should do. One, eliminate the wasteful spending so you don't have inflation pressure. That'll make it easier for the Federal Reserve to start lowering interest rates, which will help grow the economy. Second, ease up on the regulations. They put more regulations in in two years than President Trump was able to get rid of in four years. That hurts business, makes, un makes employment difficult and would stimulate growth if they ease up on the federal heavy hand of regulation. And the third, they should look at some selective tax cuts that would spur growth, those that would incentivize American companies to build more plants here, uh, to produce more in the United States, create more jobs. Yeah, these are great ideas, and certainly the regulatory environment, you are spot on, David. Real quick yeah. on the State of the Union, what do you anticipate we'll hear from the president? I think you'll see more uh, rose-colored prognosis that everything's yep. fine. He'll tell Americans, don't worry about uh, six and a half percent inflation. Uh, mm. Everything bad happened before me, everything good now. And unfortunately, <laughs> if you don't assess the truth of where we are, then you can't figure out a solution to how to make things better. That's right. Great point. David, it's good to see you. Thanks very much. David McIntosh joining us this morning in Washington. Thank you, sir.